everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to kind of crazy printer builds that I've been doing. So I was waiting for some parts for SimpleCore and I figured why not design a printer from scratch. Uh, I wanted to try something I've never done before. Uh, I wanted to try and make a bed slinger Cartesian printer. I wanted to try a 3D printed bed and I also wanted to try Core XZ. Um, this is actually an HBOT Core XZ. Um, I'm not going to be releasing this printer. There's some changes and stuff I obviously need to make to it to print even better. It, it's, it prints surprisingly well already. Um, I'm very happy with the ideas and I just need want to make some changes to make the printer even better. So this was actually... Um, sponsored by Polymaker. They actually sent me some PLA Pro in red and um, it, it's really awesome for me to try prototypes and small printers like this. I really like using PLA. Um, it's very easy for me to get my idea physically uh, out there so that I can try different things and whatnot. So I've been using Polymaker filament for as long as I can remember. I really appreciate that their spools are cardboard and they have a, such an amazing amount of colors. They have all sorts of different colors and they have probably the biggest lineup of different materials. So I appreciate Polymaker for sponsoring this. And um, this printer here I call Cappy. The reason I call it Cappy is because it prints on Kapton tape, which actually I like works pretty well, um, saves money and weight. I was trying to make a bed slinger printer that didn't have that massive weight on the Y. So I wanted to try 3D printed bed. This is a small printer. It's only 140 by 140 printable area. So a printed bed for me works. Um, I wanted to try a Core XZ here so that I don't have a stepper hanging out off the side. I really like that. I just need to make it Core XY uh, as far as the belt path. It's still going to be Core XZ, but I just want to get rid of the H bot. Um, and I wanted to try 3D printing most of the parts. The printer, this, as you see it right here, costs about $220 US to build. And it actually does print very nice, shockingly. Um, the printer has definitely some issues for sure. And that's due to the H bot. Um, belt layout, which like I say, I will be changing. But I honestly was shocked with the print quality. This printer is printing at 5,000 acceleration and around 100 millimeters a second. So it's, it's quite a capable printer and I, I really do like it so far. So I will eventually make a proper version of this printer with um, a 2020 frame just in behind the actual Z. So it's much more rigid you can tension the belts uh, much better. The tensioners will be up here, not on the motors anymore. Like I said, it'll be Core XY as far as the belts. It'll still be in the Core XZ uh, format though. And a couple other changes here or there. I'm debating whether going MGN9 uh, rails for the Y and the X. The bed, as you can hear it, is a little bit loud going back and forth. It's just the linear bearings are noisy. Um, I've greased them and um, they're still quite loud. So I do have some um, Delrin bearings. So I do have some one piece Delrin bearings. That would work too. Um, I just think I would really want an MGN9 on the X here because it will actually make the tool head much more rigid and I can also bolt the MGN into two places on each side, which will also add rigidity to the entire printer. So I really think I would like to go to MGN 9. Let me know what your, what your uh, thoughts are on that. I know um, it does increase the price of the, the printer a little bit, but I think if you wanna build this printer eventually, um, it's meant to print quick, like speed benchies, um, use input shaper, um, all that kind of stuff. So it makes sense to have really clean, um, quiet motion system for the Y and also for the X. 
I'm totally fine with uh, the Z being uh, linear rods and bearings because that's not moving that fast. So, but yeah, um, like I say, I'm not going to release this printer right now in its current form. It's just not good enough yet. Um, if you watch the printer print here, you can see the X and Y movements. They actually move the Z. You can see the Z's bouncing up and down. And that's because this is running an HBOT um, belt layout. It just, it can't tension each side properly. So it's, it's kind of wobbling. And that's the disadvantage of HBOT. So again, I'm, I'm shocked it prints as well as it does. Um, but for me to release this printer, it needs to be uh, much better. So I'm going to, like I say, do the 2020 frame, just add two more 2020. Um, this printer has already a little bit of a 2020 frame here you can see on the back just to make it a little bit more stable. But I just want to make it a 100% a square. And then I'll just make these uh, 3D printed frames, just one on each side. I'll split them in half and just make the printer a little bit better but it's a it's a neat little printer um like i say this printer is called cappy i will eventually uh have a github and more videos on it and stuff like that you probably won't see much about this printer right now i'm working on a couple more projects in the background um, i still have to finish my simple core mark one it's very very close to being 100 percent i just need to edit one file and then do the wiring I want to get that video out for people and um, talk about some things on that printer. And then I want to start getting back to my Defiant printer, my um, cross gantry printer. A lot more stuff needs to happen on it. I want to try out a lot of things with it. And I want that to be my main high performance printer going forward. So again, I would like some input on this printer. Feel free to comment below. Uh, please join my Discord and um, let me know what you think about this printer, what changes you would want to do to this printer, that type of thing. Like I say, I'm actually very happy with it. The cooling on this printer is really, really well. Uh, I'm using just a $10 CR10 hot end. It's Bowden. Um, so there's a lot of things to like on this printer. And um, like I say, it's very, very inexpensive to build. It's a great printer. I think it will be a great printer. For people to get into clipper and that type of thing kind of like my bijou printers so but yeah that's all i had for you guys um kind of quick video here um definitely please like share and subscribe and for sure join my discord uh, i'll put my patreon below if you want to support me on patreon uh that would be amazing i have a lot of awesome patreons already and they kind of get first look at printers like this there might be even another printer design on my patreon that probably no one else knows about um, except, except my Patreon members. So anyways, thanks again, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.